Hello, I'm Lee from Data Harvest. I'm going to show you in this video how you can use wireless light gates for acceleration due to gravity. Uh, there's already videos on the product page and on our teaching academy of how to do this experiment using one light gate. This is going to be now showing you how to use it with two light gates and a single interrupt card. Now, the limitations on Bluetooth, so that is the limitations of Bluetooth, not the Data Harvest products, you have to link the two with a wire. That comes with it as standard, so there's no extra cost for that at all. So how you will connect this, I'm going to turn both of these on now. All our Bluetooth sensors have USB and Bluetooth. Uh, so you can, so that's now flashing. Yep, brilliant, so that's now flashing on there. So they all have USB and Bluetooth, so these can use work on USB on Apple Mac, Chromebooks and Windows PCs, as well as Bluetooth, and Bluetooth on Android and iOS devices. So we've now turned on the top one, not turned on the bottom one yet, for the main reason you won't then get confused in the software. So. If I go and click devices on the top of the EasySense 2 software, it will now highlight the one light gate. Now, obviously, if you're in the classroom situation, there could be loads of light gates switched on at once, which isn't a problem because there's also a six digit number on here that matches how it comes up on the software here as well. So therefore you will know which one is which. So you connect to the top one. Just takes a couple of seconds and that will connect. There we go. Now, the tip to remember now, we want to use two light gates. You turn the second one on, but you don't connect that one through Bluetooth because that is now connected through the lead on that one. Okay, so that's the real important thing to remember here. You only connect your top light gate on Bluetooth to the EasySense 2 software, not the bottom one. Okay, so we're now connected, but you must make sure you change that to two light gates. And then the rest is really easy. You just go to click on time and on the shortcut on the front of the screen. Go down to setup on the bottom. Now there are lots and lots of worksheets. Uh, please remember to go to the product page on, a, on the website, uh, data-harvest.co.uk, and on there is, all, is an ebook of how to use all the wireless light gates. Download it free of charge, talks you through everything I'm showing you here. So we're going to have acceleration from A to B. So it's not A or B, it is A to B. Single interrupt card is fine. Now the length of your card, mine's actually 100 mil, you can type in whatever length you want, but please try and use dark colors. Black is ideal, dark brown, dark blue is also fine, but if you use whites or yellows, because this is shooting an infrared beam from one side to the other, uh, it can reflect off it or even go through it. And also, because natural light is infrared, if you're using these near a window, uh, it can flood them and stop them working and you get some very strange readings. So you don't need blackout blinds, you just need to close your blinds or move away from windows and roof lights and it all should work quite happily. So we're just going to change that to 100 mil because that's my card size and just save that. I could show my raw data here as well, but I'm not going to. I just want to show you the end data, which is the acceleration. So to go through again, I'm on timing. I've got acceleration, A to B, so not A or B, A to B, single interrupt card, 100 millimeters, even scroll down, everything is there. Now, because I click timing on the front page, uh, the shortcut to timing, it's set this up already for me with a bar chart here and a tabulated results here. Saves you having to go to layout and actually changing around yourself as well. If I now go and click start, also one thing to remember, you've got A and B on here and make sure the light gates are up the right way. So you've got A at the top and B at the bottom. I know it sounds obvious, uh, but just make sure they're up the right way. Another tip, don't let the students break the beam by accident to start. They'll tell them to be, I don't know, three, four centimeters above. The best way to drop this is in the middle. Again, I know that's obvious. People quite often hold it like that. So that is now longer than 40 mil, all right? So just try and hold it in the middle. So two, three, four centimeters above quite happily. Drop that down and we now have 9.98 meters per second. That's not bad at all. So we'll do a couple of others as well. Hopefully I can catch them all, but here we go. That's 9.86 or 9.81 would be lovely, but let's have a look. 10, oh, that was terrible. You see when that one dropped, it landed flat on my hand, so therefore it went down like that. Okay, so therefore that, <laughs> that's why it looks like it went faster because when it passed through, it was uh, smaller than 100 millimeters. So try and do it that way. Some people then attach coins on here to see if mass affects acceleration. There's loads of experiments you can do with it, but that is how you will work with it. Now, the lead, remember, hook it around the back of the retort stand just so it doesn't get in the way of going from A to B. And you can have a much bigger gap as well if you, if you like. If you're not careful, the card will do that if you have too much of a gap. So if you add some masses, it will obviously make it drop uh, vertically and a little bit easier as well. 
Uh, there's lots more videos on the product pages for the wireless light gates, as well as our teaching academy. If you go to data-harvest.co.uk, there's a drop-down menu teaching. So if you go onto there, there is the secondary academy. Click on there, it takes you to the videos. Three sections of these videos. The first section is how you can use how the Bluetooth sensors work. Second section is how you can use the Bluetooth sensors in the experiments. And the third section is how to use the EasySense 2 software. There's lots of worksheets, as I said, to download on the product pages as well. If you need any, have any questions or need any support, please contact us. We're happy to help. Uh, if you just email sales at data-harvest.co.uk, we'll be happy to help. Thank you very much.